Hi, Pat. Do you remember before the, the Chelsea game at Stamford Bridge, you did an interview with Sky and they asked you how Erling Haaland has adapted and you said he's done really well, but in previous years you had the extra man in the middle because of the false nine and now the extra man is up front, so you had to make some adjustments. Like, could you explain what those adjustments are? Like, what have you had to, to change this season to make it all fit together? The one more man in the middle when Kai Walker attacked two or three times in against United, for example, in the in the position, the eight position, we have one more man in that position, in the middle. So when you have an extra players in the middle, you have moved them better. Otherwise, they are more control, and the different from United, uh, the way they defend is completely different. Than Spurs, for example, so the spaces will be in other positions. It's fine where they are. And uh, but we play with extra player, one or two players with Erling playing in the game. So it's not. It depends how we move the people from in the middle and behind to create these spaces. And sometimes we read. Sometimes I don't enough clever to tell to the players or or bad decisions to do what you have to do. And and sometimes we struggle a little bit more. The team has gone on long winning runs before, I think, two 15-game winning runs, 118. Given the, the gap being eight points, do you feel you've almost got to be almost perfect now in the league between now and the end of the season if you're going to win the title? I, I said before, so now we are not in the time to think how many games we have to win, win the next one or try to win it. Always when we had done this round of 50, 15, 18 victories in a row, we never thought we are going to do this. So this will be will be wrong. Uh, so, it's prepare Spurs, what they do. Uh, uh, strong team mentality and great comebacks and never, never give up uh, with a lot of quality in all departments. And excellent manager. Uh, so competitor. So, this is what you have to be, yeah, be focused. And you've also always said that that securing a top four place is the priority, getting Champions League football for the following season. Do you think with Arsenal being, obviously they're going to be in the top four, uh, you know, United, Newcastle, Tottenham behind you, are you in the battle for a top four place? As, as every, year, every year I've been like that, yeah. But do you think now more than ever with the increased competition from Newcastle? Yeah, you're yeah, right, you're yeah, right. So it's, because it's, it's been a, a given, isn't it, every year that you'll get in the top four, but is it not? Is it not a... I say many times. So when I came here and I said we're in the top four, and I was congratulating ourselves and the team, the people say, oh, it's a false, this guy is false, it's normal, you have to win the Premier League in November, December. Always is difficult. So always I give you a lot of credit when qualify for the next 10, 11 years in Champions League every season. And, and, but it's not about, you know, going to Champions League. Next game, and next game, to try to make a consistency in our game, to try to win the game, this is what you have to do. Hi, Pep. Um, you spoke about the players adapting to Erling, and there was a couple of times on Saturday in the derby that he made runs in behind and the players didn't play the pass. Is that one of the things that they maybe need to learn? To, to not change? just him. Not just him. Not uh, Always, I believe... Uh, we scored a goal because we make movements in behind and it was four players in the box and we need more runners, but not just Erling. So, because we are just Erling, we'll be controlled for two central defenders, two or three central defenders. So, we need more and more players in that position. Yeah, definitely. But is there still a case that certain players, that when Erling makes that run, they need to learn, play that pass straight away? We have done it. Do how many goals have scored Erling so far? Uh, 27. Yeah, we have done it. You have to do it more often, but not just him. So we, we, we didn't have, uh, since many, many years, many, many players in the position of attacking midfielder, like a runner in the big distances. We score every year a lot of goals, a lot, with many, many players scoring. And, and, and we have to try to do it. When we arrive in certain positions, we need movement. Hi, Pat. Um, if Stones and Diaz are fit for tomorrow, I think... Sorry? If Stones and Diaz are fit yeah. for tomorrow, I think that will be the first time this season you had a fully fit squad. Um, how important is that going to be for not just rotation, but for players putting pressure on each other to push each other? Yeah, it's good they are fully fit. 
Yeah, that's good. Now they have to compete themselves to the benefit for the team and find the best solution. Yeah. I mean, because, you know, you've got Arsenal ahead of you, but you've also had so much success by players pressuring each other, basically, and putting pressure on each other to keep the place in the team. Um, is that going to be the key to, to kicking on? I think we know each other quite well, many years already. So the players, uh, myself, staff, staff, myself to the players. So we don't have to discover. No, I know them perfectly. When they are performing well, they are doing well. So let's do it. And I have to admit that uh, in a tough, tough game against against United, we behave more than well. We did win. Yeah, happened. We performed really, really well in the previous games when we played against Leeds, against uh, Chelsea the second half, not the first, and Chelsea FA Cup and the other one. We performed really, really, really well, not not far, far away, uh, but the other team. So I learned in my time as a manager, even as a football player, but especially as a manager, that I'm not alone in this world. I'm not the only team. We can do good things. They are openers, they can do things too. And sometimes they give you credit to them, not doesn't mean you are bad. So when another one is better, we have to admit it. And this is the target you have to achieve. And this is not a problem. The problem is okay, what do you have to do tomorrow to do it? So it looks like when a team loses a game or perform well it's not good, it's because oh with everything is a I think it's not the case. There are teams that they are good too. And you have to accept it. Uh, do, do you do you enjoy the the problem solving in moments like this, or do you find it quite a stressful a lot. process? I prefer that. No, I don't prefer. I prefer to be eight points in front. Don't misunderstand me, but I like to handle the situation. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I I, I stress when I don't feel. Oh, I don't have the so no solution. I don't know what happened. That yes, but always I had the feeling that I know the reason why it doesn't work, and yeah. the players. Will will know it. Will they know it? And, and you probably don't care what sort of said and written about you. But does it? Do you find it a bit frustrating that the moment you're not maybe scoring goals, everyone talks about Erling Haaland? Whereas, do you feel that there's actually maybe other areas of the team where other players need to be delivering more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's good. It's a benefit for us. It's the same time when everything we win because we have Erling. So. Not even it was like this, not even like that. So we had to do to earn a score goal. We had to play better. So we have our, our game, our our principles. Like uh, for the last, the way the shape we played the last two games didn't help to uh, to Erling to to score goal. It's simple. Like we have too much, too many players outside there, and few players inside. If without players inside, you cannot defend and you cannot play good. And this is mainly the problem. You can make, a, especially in the halfway in the final third, in the build up, you can be more wider if you need, believe it. Yes. But in the middle, in the final third, you have to be players. Uh, if Erling is alone there, we are not going to score goals. It's impossible. So, and, 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 and always we have been in the past, in the final third, always. Incredible good movements, you know, in, in the small spaces, and now we don't have it in the last few games. For, I would say my my fault. I didn't and make them understand or they good that the way you have to to attack. And the and the pressure you have, I suppose, you need a quick you need a quick solution because of Arsenal's position. This is not something that can go on for Listen, the fact that I I think what you have to do doesn't mean it's going to happen. So. Uh, I would say no. So I don't know what happened. No, I think what happened, but that doesn't mean so. I, I said before, so I want to fight for the, you know, for all the titles and uh, for the Premier League with 60 points left to play and many many tough games for everything for everyone. So uh, we're going to fight, but we can lose. Yeah, we cannot win. So I never believed before the years previous. So before when we arrived in September, October, November, so bad. City is going to win for how much I spend. Well, well, now the people understand that in the last five or six years we are the seventh team net spend in this country. 
and the 12 or 13 in Europe, so we are not the only one. But anyway, the situation is that, I said many times, so our standards, but people believe, 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 and after what happened, oh, what happened? That City is not on the top of the league. It can happen, no? And there's a team like uh, have been fantastic so far. And this is not a problem. It's accepted that they are when a team is better. And what do you have to do to try to be there? And the only way is not waiting what they're going to do against United on the next games. Try to win our games, to try to play in better, you know, and defend better and and have what they have to do. About the mentality, what well, your colleague said, so I think it's not about that. It's not about that because you see a game against United or the previous against Chelsea or or the other games, in you know, the tough games, we behave really, really, really well. But you have always a belief. When we lose a game, the tendency is to say, ah, we don't run. The tendency is a mentality. The tendency is no fight. Always I believe there is a tactical reason, like doesn't help. I did help them or don't help to be perfect. And in our game, one or two miss positions, not correct, after we struggle. We are not a team like follow man to man, transition, transition, transitions. We have to be everyone, do it purposely. So good pass to the central defender, to the right back, outside, inside. That process, doing well in the right moment, helps to do everything. You do it incorrect that, not do. Against Southampton, there's a proof. We did not really well. That process, and after you look like you don't run, and after you look like you are no mentality, and after you believe that ah, you don't care, It will be easy for me to say, guys, you don't run. Yeah, you know, they want it. They want to perform well. It's sometimes I didn't choose properly maybe the players or maybe the way. It depends on the way defend, the way we have to do. And this is only I'm concerned. When I say it is a challenge, that is I like it. So Because it makes me feel, oh, I have to back again. I have to find something to, to help the team to, to get better. Because I'm the main responsible. So when the players don't play good, when I have the, the desire to do it, it's because something wrong in my decisions. I have to find it. Because here the people don't wait. So people don't 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 live about the, our memories, how good they are in the last part. When I will die, after I will talk about how good was Pep. That's for sure. But since we are here, people expect to perform well and win the games and try to find the the weak. Otherwise, Pep out. So this is how it works our our job and I have to I want to pep in <laughs> and I want to stay here this is what I want and for that I have to win games I have to be there and there and then in the competitions I bet you obviously know the the players better than anyone else how, how do you assess their confidence at the moment having you know you've just said that it's maybe down to tactics or or personnel is their confidence really good at the moment despite the results but Listen, when we are used to, to be there all the time and winning, winning, winning. But I said, with, against Liverpool, we were one or two times in this position in the past with maybe less games left to play, still to play. So we are new in that position. But of course, we are happy, all of us, when everything is good and when you are new, you think more and what you have to do. But they turn really well. The last days, that is my feeling. And, uh, and we are able to try it. That is... That is that is for sure. A couple of seasons ago, when you had a couple of difficult results, Fernandinho got everyone together, all the players, and and kind of raised their spirits. Uh, has anyone in the squad done that, or do you think there's not a no. particular need to do that at the moment? The quality of the dressing room is exceptional. Is exceptional. Exceptional. That terms I don't, I don't have doubts. Can I quickly the answer, Scott? Um, not many managers have a. A, a positive record against you, but Antonio Conte does in this country with Chelsea and with Spurs. What, what particular problems does do his sides present? But I would say I would say Antonio created problems in everyone, <laughs> not just uh, myself. So yeah, he beat me a lot, and it's always. So I, I admire the manager when they are authentic, when they are, uh, when they believe in the principles. It doesn't matter what happened. They have a Incredible philosophy, he has success in everywhere, in, in Siena, Juventus, in national team with Chelsea. And uh, my thing is, is because he's, he's a good manager, so have a, a good, uh, all the good managers always have a good, a good squad. When we have success, we have a good clubs and success. And, and I would say both of us, we don't have, we have 
we have this 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 concept. So both we have a good teams and 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 to do our best. So it's a big challenge. It's a good manager, competitor. So and his teams are, are really good. Thank you. Guys. Thank you.